What's up, you all? It asked for requested the one and only Queen B performing America the Beautiful. Let's get right into this one. I can't believe I haven't already reacted to this thing, right? I thought I did, which is why I haven't. <laughs> That's my quick. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber ways of rain, for purple mountain majesties. church was just finished when she hit that operatic like church head voice at the end i know they said that i know they said look 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 i'm not all for that worldly bootylicious but when she hit that head voice in, the, in america i said okay she's okay with me it's like no <laughs> but i mean look she killed it inappropriately so that's why i love beyonce that's why so many people love beyonce she knows how to go there but also be technically excellent not overdo it not just be not be too um what's the word too churchy but kind of take you there it, it's i don't know how to explain i know exactly what i'm trying to say um not there's anything wrong with being too churchy, <laughs> you know what I mean? But there's a time and a place for everything is what I'm saying. And she can kind of blend certain, she's so good at blending, um, what, am I, what am I trying to say? Sort of blending different, um, I guess different sort of musical styles together, different musical cultures together. Um, she can do the pop thing and mix it in with the churchy thing and then mix it in with a little bit of funk, a little bit of soul. And, you know, you know, she doesn't, she, she's got that voice where she's, she just does everything so well. She knows how to blend all these different styles. And 
here, I mean, just, just the perfect, I, I loved every ad lib. Um, like I said, there were points where she took a certain runs that were straight church, but she came back and, you know, she, she, it was, it, she could do the whole, um, sort of classical style thing and just sing straight and, 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 and just, you know, normal to where you wouldn't think she's overdoing it, doing too much. Um, I hope somebody understands what I'm saying. <laughs> she was, um, uh, but this was, I mean, it was just very traditional, um, but she also brought some church into it. Also brought some, you know, a little soul into it. Very traditional, but you know, it's not offensive is what I'm trying to say to everybody. Yet, I mean, she gave me what I needed. Those runs, that transition again, that head voice. I mean, and the ascent, that C, that, that ascent thing she did on C was dope. I mean, she, she kills it. And it's just the ease of which the note she, she hits and sort of her mix, especially at, the, at, the, at one of the first higher notes she did, how she sort of silently mixed and it got heavier into the mix and it was like a went to a full bone like a full blown belt and and just 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 resonant powerful belt her her nuances people don't catch but she's technically brilliant but i mean a lot of people know this not most sadly a lot of people know technically with her voice it's just brilliance it's brilliance she she has a a, a, a jack of all trades really and she knows how to blend in the traditional with the church, as I said, and you know, a little bit for everybody, but she's technically, I can't deny, technically she's, she's brilliant. Um, this was absolutely one of my favorite renditions of all time of America the Beautiful. It really was. The choir came in, was beautiful. I got the goosebumps. Uh, I just had the goosebumps. And Mary J, I love Miss Mary J, but looking at her saying, you could tell that this might have been the first time she's ever even knew this song existed. I mean, she was like she she was singing she was singing uh, any mini mighty mo for all I knew with with the way her mouth was moving. Nonetheless, I love me some Mary J. Thank you for liking and subscribing, and please continue to for more of your favorites. Peace.